Don't worry about vocabulary. Don't worry about grammar. You know, those things are important and they are part of your score. And you know, you, those are things you should work on, but they're hard to work on. They take time to work on. This you're in control of and you have there's more things you can do with this, okay? So what is going on, Duolingo English test takers? And I want you to meet Anna, a student of mine who's scoring an 80 production score. And there's one thing that she can do that will increase her score dramatically. So I wanna share with you what that one thing is right now. So let's look at her example and let's learn from it. So this is the question that she answered. It's a speak about the photo question. This is the photo. I really want you to focus on what she says. So let's listen to what she says. It'll be about 50 seconds long. And I'm gonna show you how she can improve her score dramatically. So let's listen in first. And also I want you to think, what can she do? Okay, so think for yourself too. This photo show a group of young children in the age of uh, four or five years old, half of on the school bus. Maybe they have finished their class and on the way to return home. In the photo, I can see a man wear a boy wearing short. He carrying some food in his hand. So maybe they will go for picnic, and they do. Another little girl is walking behind him. All right, so you know, you might have some ideas of what her trouble is exactly. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure you don't just hear me say it, but you get some scores from an actual speaking software that's designed to grade speaking. I went through two different sites. Let me share the first one with you is my speaking score. This one was designed for TOEFL speaking and it gave her a 16 out of 30, which is about an 80 production score. Here's the same response, but I'm going to read it this time. Okay, so listen to me reading her response. This is the same vocabulary, same grammar, just me speaking. Okay, so listen in. This photo shows proof of young children between the ages of four and five years old, and half of them are on the school bus and the other half are getting off. Maybe they have finished their class and are on their way to return home in the father. I can see a man wearing where a boy wearing short he carrying some food in his hand so maybe they were for picnic and they do another little girl is walking behind him okay so i changed a couple words but it's pretty much the same response same vocabulary same grammar i use this other site speech analyzer and i use my speaking score and i got 130. Two different sites I checked, her response and my response. She got an 80 both times. I got 130 both times. It's pretty much the same vocabulary and same grammar. What's the difference? Now you might be thinking, well, it's obvious. You know, you're a native speaker and she isn't. Well, it's not that obvious, okay? So when I talk to students and I ask, what do you need to improve? A lot of students say vocabulary. A lot of students say grammar. A lot of students say how much I say in the amount of time. Let's look at some of the big differences between myself speaking and her speaking and also to show you how you can improve your score with this as well. Okay, so you can do this. You can improve your score by focusing on this. So let's take a closer look here. There's some important details you need to know. First, the time difference. So she spoke for 51 seconds, I spoke for 32 seconds, but my score was much higher. A lot of people say, you know, the more you speak, the higher your score. You know, I do say that you should speak for longer, but if you're speaking for longer, but your speaking speed is slow, then it's a problem, it doesn't help your score. Okay, so that's one big thing that you need to know. She needs to bring words together. So when I, I don't say, I want to go to the movies. I say, I want to go to the movies, right? She has to bring these words together. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Also, fewer pauses. She has a lot of times where she's thinking. She needs to 
reduce those pauses a bit. Let's look at the first sentence here. This is the first sentence. I changed some words, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, let's listen to her response first. Proof of young children in the age of uh, four or five years old. Okay, so that's 13 seconds. This photo shows proof of young children between the ages of four and five years old, and Oop. half of them are on. The Sorry, so that was five seconds. I'll just play it one more time so you can see. This photo shows proof of young children between the ages of four and five years old. Okay, so my response was five seconds. I read that sentence in five seconds. She did in 13 seconds. Now you might be thinking, hey, you're a native speaker, or hey, you're just reading, she spoke naturally, or hey, it's not fair because she had to do it, you know, under time constraint and she did it like the test and, you know, you're just reading what she said. This is true, okay? I, I, I don't disagree with you about this. This is your goal. This is what you're aiming for. You're trying to speak more naturally, trying to bring things together. Now it's not magic. She's not gonna magically speak at the same speed as me, but if she does a certain type of practice a little bit every day, it's gonna get better and better. You will get better and better. Let me show you how it works. This is how you improve. You find a sample answer to shadow. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. You might say, oh, I've shadowed before and I, I didn't like, let me show you how to shadow exactly so you know exactly what to do. And try to include some words, phrases, and speech patterns in your own response. So, you focus on one sentence at a time and you only do one question a day, one sample of question a day. That's it. So what she should do is, is that she should do a question, a practice question, find a sample of somebody else doing the same response, somebody you know who's fluent, somebody who could speak really well and gives a really high scoring response, and then one sentence at a time, listen and repeat. And not only do you repeat, you shadow. So I'm gonna say the sentence, these photos, the grammar is bad, so hopefully you have a better grammar example, but these photos show proof of young children in the age of four or five years old. And then she repeats, right? And then she tries to say it in five seconds. Maybe she can't, maybe it's seven seconds or eight seconds or 10 seconds. Okay, try one more time. Let's try to get it down one second. That's it. So, okay, it's eight seconds. Let's try to get it down to seven, okay? Or she can use something like her iPhone and talk to Siri and then say this sentence and then see if Siri can understand every word she's saying. That's the other way that you can shadow here. You do one sentence at a time, either recording your voice with some type of technology with an automatic uh, voice checker or timing yourself to see if your time is about the same. Okay. The last thing she should do is try to use some of the phrases, use some of the words and say them the same way in the, her next response. So she should say, for example, this photo shows, okay, I'm going to say it. this photo shows, try to say it the same way that I do. The next time you practice, speak about the photo, this photo shows, this photo shows, try to say it just like me, this photo shows. And then what's going to happen? Her speaking speed is going to get faster. She's going to have less pauses and she's going to improve her speed and improve her score. So that's the secret. And that's what we do at the speaker at speaker English. We have a 30 day speaking plan for the Duolingo English test. It's guaranteed to work. All you have to do is practice for 15 minutes a day. One question you practice and then you listen to a sample response and you compare your response to the sample response. This is how you improve. You do a little bit every day and you practice. For her, she needs to practice shadowing. We have other activities depending on your weakness, but that's what she needs here. And that's really the biggest part of your score is speaking speed. And if you could bring words together. Okay, so she needs to record her voice. She needs to listen back to it and try to improve her speed and bring words together. She can do that by herself and she can also listen to a sample and try to practice bringing words together as well. 
That's the most important thing and the quickest way to improve your score. So don't worry about vocabulary, don't worry about grammar. You know, those things are important and they are part of your score. And you know, you, those are things you should work on, but they're hard to work on. They take time to work on. This you're in control of and you have, there's more things you can do with this, okay? So practice delivering a response that brings words together and has a good speed. Okay. That's what I wanted to say. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, check out this other video about speaking that I think you'll also get a lot of good uh, benefit from. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.